Hello and welcome. Uh, today we are going to go over uh, Guillaume Barre and a case presentation of a patient I recently saw with Guillaume Barre. This was a 16 year old female who presented with pain as her chief complaint. Neck pain initially that then spread throughout her body, she said all of her muscles felt sore. Um, she also stated that she had uh, peripheral tingling in her arms and legs. Uh, tingling in the arms and legs is often an initial uh, complaining patients with Guillaume Barre. Uh, so she progressed from this pain in her neck over about a week to muscle weakness, and the weakness was more in the proximal muscles, the hips and the shoulders. Uh, for example, when she tried to get up and walk, she had trouble with her hip flexors or getting up from a seated position. So when she was laying down, she could get up uh, and sit on the edge of the bed, but then when we asked her actually to stand up, she needed assistance to to stand. When we got her up, she walked uh, with a hip swing as opposed to a hip flexion. So uh, instead of being able to lift her leg and walk like this, she would swing her legs around due to the, the uh, proximal muscle weakness. Also interestingly, she had strong grips uh, but weak shoulders. So to hold her arms out was difficult, they'd start to both drip, drift down. Uh, she had very strong plantar flexion, she could push away quite well, dorsiflexion was very weak. Um, so uh, that's why, again, uh, we should think about Guillain-Barre and any patient who presents with foot drop. Uh, and foot drop is uh, often the presenting area of weakness, and it should be symmetric. Um, so she also developed ataxia, and ataxia can again be a presenting symptom. Um, especially in the Miller-Fisher variant, where they get uh, uh, ophthalmoplegia, they uh, have problems with poor balance and uh, areflexia, and they may have actually less weakness in, in that syndrome. And children can uh, develop the Miller-Fisher variant. Uh, she also, in terms of her cranial nerves, her mother uh, mentioned that sometimes she had a little bit of a ptosis on one side, uh, and that her speech was slurred at times. Uh, and cranial nerve findings can also occur in Guillain-Barre. Uh, the only cranial nerve finding I saw was she had a bilateral symmetric facial uh, weakness. That was actually uh, hard to appreciate unless you really asked her to try and move her face. Since it was symmetric, uh, she, to look at her and to hear her talk and see her talk, everything looked fine. But when you actually ask her to smile or grimace uh, or raise her eyebrows, she uh, really couldn't do that. Uh, in terms of her reflexes, uh, as you know, uh, Guillain-Barre, uh, one of the classic findings is a lack of reflexes, but she actually had reflexes proximally. She had um, knee reflexes and to a lesser extent elbow reflexes, and it's important to know that especially early on, you can have uh, reflexes still intact. They're usually weak, and usually you're only able to get them in the proximal reflexes. In terms of her ankle reflexes, uh, I could not uh, elicit any ankle reflexes, and that's often, again, a place where you can uh, first find a lack of reflexes, as in the ankles or peripherally. In terms of the knee reflexes, though, uh, a finding that uh, I noted in, in this particular patient was there seemed to be a slight delay in the reflex itself. Um, it almost seemed to be the opposite of what you would find in a patient with severe hypothyroidism. As you remember, in hypothyroidism, uh, the reflex occurs and there is a delay in the relaxation phase. You get the knee, boom, it comes up, slight delay, and then it drops down. The, in this particular patient, uh, when I hit her knee, there'd be a slight delay in the up phase. Hit it, boom, oh, and there it goes. And uh, at first I thought, am I imagining that? But it was consistent. I hit it, there'd be a little delay, and then it would go. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, reviewing these findings was helpful. Uh, and will help you remember uh, this syndrome next time you see a patient who presents with paresthesias or pain and lack of reflexes. Thank you very much.